going on YouTube? Beacon All 8 here, back with another cigar review for you guys. Today we're going to be looking at the Guardian of the Farm. This cigar is a collaboration cigar between Casa Fernandez and Warped Cigars. I believe the story behind it is the, the cigars are named after their dogs, their guard dogs in uh, Nicaragua that protect uh, the fields. This particular one that we're looking at today is the Apollo version. It is the Selection de Warped, which is a limited size. Apollo, I believe, is the name of uh, Kyle Gellis's dog out in Nicaragua. Um, this cigar retails for about $8 a stick. Uh, it is a Nicaraguan Puro. Um, if you want to get technical, I think it is primarily uh, Nicaraguan uh, Corojo, uh, mainly uh, from 1999, I believe. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this one. Uh, the appearance and the construction of this cigar is phenomenal. Uh, very, very minimal veining. Like, this is almost uh, like a seamless cigar. It, it is very very well made a nice triple cap on there and uh, for, for a rating I'd give this a, a 9.5 out of 10 for construction and appearance so let's cut this up and we'll get into it alright guys so I'm back so I'm just past the one-third mark on this cigar I have to say I am very impressed with this cigar so far. Start up by talking about the burn. The burn on this cigar is really good. Uh, you can't expect a razor sharp burn from a cigar of this size, but it's pretty close to it. No need for corrections, anything like that. Uh, I'm going to give this cigar uh, 9.5 out of 10 for the burn. Um, as for the the draw, the draw is amazing. Again, I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10 on the draw. And uh, smoke output, you guessed it, a 9.5 out of 10. This thing is smoking like a chimney. So as you can see, I'm really loving this cigar. It's been really impressive. As for the flavor profile, I'm getting a lot of uh, earthy notes uh, followed by a sweet tobacco. You're getting a tiny, tiny bit of red pepper on the back of the throat. The retrohale, again, you're getting that sweet tobacco and uh, earthy notes, but you're also getting a little bit of wood notes, uh, black pepper. Uh, just keep in mind the first inch of this cigar, just like a lot of Nicaraguan uh, puros, the first inch is uh, just a straight black pepper bomb on the retrohale. But, yeah, I'm... I'm really liking this one. So I'll get back to you guys at the halfway point. All right, guys, I'm back. So I'm just past the halfway point at this point. The, the flavor profile, it's changed a, a tiny bit, but not much. Um, I'm still getting a lot of that sweet tobacco, but now I'm also getting molasses, uh, a tiny bit of black pepper, a uh, tiny bit of earthiness on the retro hail uh, again I'm getting that sweet tobacco a uh, little bit of the molasses on the, the retro hail and the black pepper has also died down a significant amount on the retro hail so this has really become a very smooth cigar to smoke so I'll get back to you guys on the final third give you my final thoughts alright guys so yeah I just dropped the ash on myself that usually happens when I'm filming. Anyways, so the flavor profile on this cigar really hasn't changed too much. It's a lot of sweet tobacco. Uh, the molasses has died down, uh, still present a tiny bit. Uh, in the final third, I am getting a little bit of bitterness to it. Um, same thing on the retrohale. It's primarily uh, sweet tobacco. The overall score for the flavor profile, I don't want to give it an 8, but I don't want to give it an 8.5. I'd give it 8 and a quarter. I'd say this is a medium to full-bodied cigar, 
and I would also give it medium to full strength cigar as well. Overall, like this has been a really good smoking experience. Um, when you tally up the scores, it comes out to a 92.5, so 92 and a half is, is pretty good in my book. I, I would feel very safe recommending that you go out and buy a five pack of these. That's what I did. I got a five pack off of uh, Andrew at smallbatchcigar.com. He's the man. Check it out. But yeah, if you're into that flavor profile, the the sweet tobacco and the molasses, I'd say go out and buy a box of these. Um, I'm a big fan of this size cigar. So like I said, it's been a really enjoyable cigar for me. Very maintenance free. So go out, grab some of these, and let me know what you think. Until next time, guys. Check you later.